In the first chapter of the Gospel according to St. John, John the Kohan, the priest, descended from the great line that goes back to Aaron, makes a strange statement about Jesus, one which is enshrined in most, most high church traditions like my own. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takest away the sins of the world. In the Mass, it is often commemorated by the great declaration, Agnus Dei, Quitoles Pacadamundi Miserere Nobis. And for most modern listeners to that phrase, when they think of Jesus, they think, what about this meek and mild little fellow? This person who is soft and merciful. But that is not what a first century Jewish individual would have thought. Hearing those words, they would have understood from the book of Leviticus. The idea that the atonement for our sins, the atonement for our failings, comes by the offering of one in our place. Figuratively, in the Old Covenant, it would be the Lamb, who at Passover would be offered up. The blood would be offered on the doorpost with the hyssop branch. Fast forward with me now to John 19. Jesus is our Lamb upon the cross. He is offering his life for the sins of the world. Before him are John, not the Baptist, the beloved apostle, and Mary, his mother. And he says, I thirst. A hyssop branch, the same kind of branch that would be used to anoint the doorposts of a house during Passover is brought up to his lips with a sponge with some sour wine. It is only after that he says the climactic words, the completion of the sacrifice, it is finished. The question lies before each and every one of us. We are called to be covered in the blood, to be covered in the righteousness of Christ. In Genesis chapter 3, something strange happens. We all know how Adam and Eve fall from grace and how they tried to cover themselves with fig leaves. But what we don't know, at least most of us, is that afterwards God clothes them with skins. In Genesis 4, we discover that Abel, one of his earliest professions, is to tend sheep. There is an ancient Jewish tradition that Adam and Eve were clothed with the skin of the lamb instead of the fruit of the earth brought by Cain. Here we have the two sacrificial systems that are offered, right? The fruit of your own hands, what you think you can do by your moral excellence, and instead God's sacrifice, and that is himself offered in love. This is my body given up for you. This is my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant poured out for you and for many. Do this in remembrance of me. As we meditate upon that, passion this day. Let us do this in remembrance of him. We invite you all to think of what he has completed on our behalf. And if any of you have not made that commitment, we invite you to make it now. May God in his mercy, who is the Lamb, bless you.